Hello, young explorers. Did you know that deep inside the Earth we find clues about amazing creatures from millions of years ago? It's like a time machine, but instead of traveling through time, we dig up fossils. Fossils are the ancient remains of plants and animals preserved in rocks. Imagine a dinosaur footprint frozen in time, or a tiny insect trapped in amber. How cool is that? These natural treasures tell us stories of what life was like long before humans walked the Earth. Before we uncover the secrets of fossils, please check out our website at Starbeck Education for some extraordinary resources on fossils and dinosaurs. Imagine you're making a handprint in wet sand. It leaves a mark, right? Fossils are similar. They're like nature's snapshots of the past. When a plant or animal dies, its hard parts, like bones or shells, sometimes get buried in mud or sand. Over many, many years, the mud and sand harden into rock, preserving the shape of the plant or animal inside. That's how we get fossils. They're like natural sculptures, showing us what creatures looked like millions of years ago. Fossils come in all shapes and sizes, from giant dinosaur bones to tiny seashells. Each fossil is a piece of a giant puzzle, helping us understand the history of life on Earth. A step-by-step -step guide? Let's imagine a dinosaur, a stegosaurus, munching on leaves millions of years ago. Suddenly it collapses and dies near a river. What happens next? One, burial. The stegosaurus's body is quickly covered by mud and sand from the river, protecting it from scavengers and the elements. Two, time passes. Over millions of years, more and more layers of mud and sand pile on top, creating immense pressure that turns the sediment into rock. Three, mineral replacement. Water seeps through the rock, dissolving the Stegosaurus's bones and replacing them with minerals, creating a rock replica of the original bone. 4. Uplift and Erosion Millions of years later, the Earth's movements push the rock layers upwards and wind and rain slowly wear away the rock, revealing the Stegosaurus fossil. And there you have it. That's how a dinosaur bone from millions of years ago can become a fossil we can see in a museum today. Section 4, Dinosaurs and Fossils, a powerful partnership. Fossils are like magical keys that unlock the secrets of dinosaurs. By studying their bones, teeth and even their footprints, we can learn a lot about these incredible creatures. We can learn about what they looked like. Fossils reveal the size, shape and even the skin texture of dinosaurs. We can learn about what they ate. Tooth fossils tell us if they were plant eaters or meat eaters. And we can learn about how they moved. Fossilized footprints show us how they walked and ran. Thanks to fossils, we can piece together the amazing story of dinosaurs and their world. It's like solving a giant prehistoric puzzle. Section 5. Fossil Pioneers, the First Fossil Hunters. Have you ever wondered who the very first people to find fossils were? Well, it's hard to say for sure. People have been finding fossils for a very long time. Imagine finding a giant shell or bone sticking out of the ground. They might have thought they were magical, but even if they didn't understand what they were, these early discoveries sparked curiosity about the world around us. They made us wonder, what else is hidden beneath our feet? Section 6, Mary Anning, the seashell queen who became a fossil legend. Let me introduce you to Mary Anning a brave and brilliant fossil hunter who lived over 200 years ago. Mary lived by the sea in England and loved collecting seashells. But Mary didn't just collect ordinary seashells. She discovered something extraordinary, the fossils of giant sea creatures that had been extinct for millions of years. Mary's discoveries amazed scientists and helped them understand that long, long ago, incredible creatures swam in the oceans. She became known as the Seashell Queen and proved that even ordinary people can make extraordinary discoveries.